Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Ryan of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great weekend, safe weekend. Let's make it a great week, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We ended our industrials down 216, NASDAQ off 45, S&P's off 28, gold contract up $21, trading at 1,594 an ounce. Silver up 53 cents at $28.99 an ounce. Platinum down three at 1,605 an ounce. Copper flat at 353 a pound. Light sweet crude down 86 cents trading at $92.28 a barrel. Bonds almost up two points. We're up 1.27, 145.27. That's the 30 year. King dollar up 265 ticks at 81.85. King dollar just uh, went to the moon. Um, Euro down 120 trading at 130.75. And the yen, yen was down a full two, folks, at 91.48. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. See what we have out here. Well, what we have happening first off is this, folks. If we go to the S&P, the cash S&P, what you're going to see is this. I had a bounce out here today, got the 15.25, couldn't hold it. Gave it up, gave it up in spades. Breaking your swing point from two days ago. Um, velocity, yeah, you get the velocity, you, ha you have it all. It's all about currency, folks, big time. You know, we've been talking about the currencies, uh, the volatility is there in them. You had the dollar go to the moon, the euro go downtown, the yen get stronger, come back downtown, which, which is normal for the yen. But the bottom line is that this dollar move, this baby wants to go to 84 and a half big time. What is that going to do with the, the cash S&P? The, the, the cash S&P right now are at 1491 and the September 21st level, remember that level, was 1474. So that's what we're heading down to. Uh, that 1474 level. If we just take a look at the SPY, the SPY, you put the SPY up here, what you're going to see is that the SPY today did 205 million shares, just ate the market alive. Uh, bottom line is that the next stop down for the SPY, we are at the 149 level. Uh, we're talking 146.13. And what you do have happen, folks, when you get large corrections, this is exactly how they, they shake in, meaning that you get the acceleration up first before you come downtown. When you're going upside and you're at lows, the ex exact opposite happens. You go downtown and then you just take off like a rocket ship. And that's what we had happen out here today. We go to the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. What we have with the Dow is this. Dow Industrials, she pulls back 216 points. And this is pretty intense because the Dow actually got over all the highs going all the way back to the 25th of January and croaks them and closes under all of them. That's curtains, folks. Uh, bottom line, we're at 13,784, uh, 13,653, which is a heartbeat away, is the September 20, 14th level. You get back inside that level, see ya, don't want to be ya, that'll put you all the way back down to the 12,400 level. NASDAQ Composite. Composite, oh, this was a trip with the composite today. Let me tell you, folks, because what you have is this. At the end of the day, composite's down 45, but let me tell you something. This composite was holding its own right throughout the day, but the last hour and a half it gave it up, but it was holding its own. And what does that mean in the context of where we are? What it, well, what it means to me is this. When you have, the, the composite in general has been the weakest indice, and wouldn't break, wouldn't break, and I'm, I'm talking about when the, when the euro, I'm going to show you, the euro did a flat out A to B equals C to D right to the penny, right to the, the one thousandth of one actually. Bottom line is that when the composite doesn't break, what does it do? Or just one indice doesn't break when you have going down like this. What it does is that it keeps people in the market. That's what it does. And then, bah, boom, out of nowhere, composite breaks down and breaks down in spades. The composite down 45 bucks. Uh, what the composite did, same side, kind of, kind of like the Dow did, 
Uh, the composite is already inside the September 14th level. So the composite, next stop in the composite, is that gap that's open from December 31st to January 2nd. That gap, is the, the top of that gap is down another 100 points. 100 and, um, it's pretty intense, actually, 103 points. We're talking about 3021. Well, not 100 points, 90 points. Yeah, 90 points. Uh, bottom line, I expect you're going to see it down there um, pretty fast. Bond market. Now, let's go over to the bond market because the correlations are all over the place out here today. Bonds, 30-year bond. You want to see, see signs of strength, folks? You want to see a bond, a 30-year bond that's going to go to 160? Well, guess what? It's happening, and it's going to happen much quicker than folks realize. What the 30-year bond did out here today is 793,000 contracts, okay? Just that move alone basically was, it broke in, you know, in six hours. Well, actually, it broke in about uh, uh, two and a half hours. Uh, that is saying that your next move up is 150. We'll see how it attacks the 150 uh, to get to that 160. But it certainly had wide price spread, accelerated volume, huge, absolutely huge. Now, let's go over to King Dollar. The amazing thing about King Dollar is this. King Dollar didn't get too much rest in between these ABC structures on the way up, folks. We did 50,000 contracts in the dollar index today. We blew away the swing point that's up there at 81.78. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this, meaning price projection. You can take the top of the November trading, which is the 81.70, and then you just take the bottom. The bottom of that was... Uh, 78.90, so 81, so let, let's ballpark that at 80. So you can add a buck 70 onto the 81.70, so you got 82.70, 83.30, and it's 84.25 where this baby wants to get into. That 84.25 level, folks, is the swing point from last July. And, and the way this market is moving, let me tell you something, I don't think it's going to take much in order to get it. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. The most dangerous thing we have out here is fast currency moves. Fast currency moves, folks, uh, are problematic. What I do expect you're going to get, oh, let's go look at the euro for a second, because uh, euro, what you talk about a classic A to B equals C to D, intraday, this was uh, amazing watching it intraday, folks. The the, the number intraday, uh, you got to remember something. The euro got to a price point this morning. This is a, this is a trader's paradise. Got to a price point of 133.19. When this baby broke the B point at the, uh, let's see, at 1250, uh, no, 13, 1250, yeah, 1350 this afternoon. Your A to B equals C to D is 1.3053. We made it all the way down to 1.3048. You know, going to get some kind of a bounce out of here. But the bottom line is that uh, we're going lower, folks. Let's go to uh, Rick in British Columbia. Hey, Rick, what's going on? Hey, you mentioned 160 on the bonds. I couldn't help think about two things, and that's Larry in a life jacket. Yeah, that life jacket is back in play again. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's been out of play for quite a while, but yeah. it's, it's back in play. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, uh, Ford. Ford. Let's go take a look at Ford. We get uh, Ford Motor Company. Uh, the low is eight dollars and eighty-two cents. The high is fourteen thirty. You're trading out at uh, twelve thirteen right now. Well, you know, like I'm looking. I'm just for a trade, okay? This is not a long yeah. term, you know. But it looks to me like there's retail, like, for instance, uh, the, the Japanese yen really hurt, like, Toyota just went to the moon because of it, right? Sure, you know? right. And it, it probably hurt Ford, GM, and all this and that, this and that. Now, on a technical basis, we're down, but it's not an ABC down. I mean, we don't have the volume for the ABC down. So I'm looking for a little trade here, and I'm just curious if the buy's at 1150 or something like that, and maybe. You know, take it for a ride to twelve fifty or something like that. Like, yeah, no, I I like what you're talking about. Okay, so what he's looking at, folks, is this. It, it, it definitely, you know, Ford came off these lows, and you know, if we just bring this back, you know, when we 2011 Ford's at 905, comes off that low, has strength, gets up to a price point of uh, 12, mm, 13 bucks. Can't handle that. That's the range. Comes back down, has light of volume. Um, the way this is set up right now, you know. Yeah, 932. 
lighter volume, you get some action. I, I'm, I know, I, I see we are looking at the 11, but I think that 11 is going to fail, 1167, Rick. Okay. Cooking, brother. Thanks, man. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back.